you have just finished installing the CCTV system. You have put all your efforts and experience during the installation. Now it's the time to turn it on. And then the unexpected happens. You have dark horizontal bars rolling all over the screen and also the picture is wavy. This is the situation that you never ever predicted for. So what exactly is the cause for this problem and how to solve it? This is the problem of ground loop. In most of the cases, ground loop is formed when several devices are connected to different power sources and are interconnected with data, video or audio wires to communicate. In the example shown, devices are connected to the local power source with their chassis connected to the ground pin of the local AC power socket. Both devices here are connected together with communication lines. Ideally, all grounded points of an electrical system should be at the same potential. However, different points of the same grounding system even within a building may have different potentials leading to the flow of current from a higher reference ground point to a lower one through a circular path that uses the data line. All this can be a major source of noise, hum and interference in electronic circuits. This undesired noise degrades signals and may lead to data losses. Ground loops can also be responsible for damage to equipments and parts. Further, ground loops can prove dangerous to the user in the form of an electric shock through the exposed metallic parts. We can encounter the same case scenario during CCTV installation where both cameras and DVR are powered locally and connected to the local independent ground. Further, the cameras are connected to the DVR using coaxial cables which completes the path for ground loop. Having understood the ground loops, we will now learn to find the solution to avoid them. The very first solution to eliminate the ground loop is to connect all your devices to one single ground point and single power outlet as shown. As there is a single ground, there will be no potential difference and hence no ground loops. Further, laying of CCTV cables near the high voltage power lines will induce a current in the loop through electromagnetic induction. You can avoid laying cables near to the power lines. Your cables should be at least 200 mm away from power lines. Use good quality cables with good shielding braid. Shielding is just as critical as any other design element. On one hand, it reflects signal interference and on the other hand, it picks up the noise and provides a low resistance path to transfer the noise to the ground. Multi-layer shielded cable can be used in high interference areas. The cameras may get connected to the local ground through coaxial BNC connectors that may accidentally touch the local ground. For example, your connector may accidentally touch the cable tray if it is not properly insulated with electrical tape. Properly insulate your connectors with the help of insulation tape. This will help to eliminate accidental contact of your connectors with the local ground. In some cases, cameras mounted on metal structures or poles may contact ground. This problem can be avoided by putting some insulation material between cameras and such structures. Finally, the ground loop isolators can be used on the one end of coaxial video cables to avoid the flow of ground loop current. These isolators are readily available and are not very expensive. You can easily purchase them if required. The links to purchase these devices are given in the description box. Thanks for watching.